Hey, hi. Um, I'm going to read a poem called What My Father Believed. Uh, Garrison Keeler wrote, read this poem a while ago, and uh, was online for a long time and then got into a lot of trouble for the sexual inappropriateness. And he took, uh, took the, poems, the poem off the uh, offline. So uh, I want to read this poem. It's in my echoes of tattered tongues. But my father believed. He didn't know about the rock of ages or bringing the sheaves of Jacob's ladder or gathering with the beautiful river that flows beneath the throne of God. He'd never heard of the Baltimore Catechism either and didn't know the purpose of life was to love and honor and serve God. He'd been to the village church as a boy in Poland and knew he was Catholic because his mother and father were buried in a cemetery under wooden crosses. Sister Catherine was buried there too. The day their mother died, Catherine took to the kitchen corner where the stove sat and cried. She wouldn't eat or drink, just cried until she died there, died of a broken heart. She was three or four years old, he was five. What my dad knew about uh, the nature of God and religion came from the sermon that the priest told at Mass, and this got mixed up with his own life. He knew living was hard and that even children were meant to suffer. Sometimes when he was drinking, he'd ask, didn't God send his own son here to suffer? My father believed we are here to lift logs that can't be lifted, to hammer steel nails so bent they crack when we hit them. In the slave labor camps in Germany, my father had seen men try the impossible and fail my dad believed life is hard and we should help each other. If you see someone on a cross, his weight pulling him down and breaking his muscles, you should try to lift him, even if only for a minute, even though you know lifting won't save him. Thank you.